Hey everybody, this is another video in Intermediate Premiere Knowledge. And what we're going to be doing on this video is talking about some of these tools that are over here in this toolbar. Now, you should know some of them already. You've probably used the razor blade at some point to, and I didn't select it, razor blade at some point to be able to make little cuts in your video. You might have also used track select, which will select everything to the right uh, of where you click or the opposite one that'll select everything um, back of where you click. Those are all really helpful and can really speed up your editing. The buttons that I'm going to be talking to today are called ripple. It's right here. Roll right here, slip and slide. And so they are these buttons right here that have the arrows and these buttons right here that also have arrows and, and are describing a little bit different thing. Let's take a look at the video that I have here. I'm gonna hit my V key and get back to my normal cursor selection tool. And let's just kind of take a look at what we have here in terms of our video. So I have my golfer here and he does this little thing where he kind of stands up at the end and maybe I don't want that on there. So what I'm going to be able to do is use this tool called Ripple. And what Ripple does is it allows me to shorten an edit. And you notice it, it's not even, if you look at the cursor, it's not even active until I actually hover over a cut. And what it does is it allows me to click and drag, shorten it up to the end of that shot. And then it's going to bring everything over with it. And so all these other three clips are going to stay the same. Only that little portion that I chose to shorten is going to be different. So it's really good if you've got that instance where maybe you've got a lot of shots laid in and you want to shorten a little bit, but maybe you, you don't want to mess around with all these other clips, then the ripple tool is a good tool for that. Let's take a look at what rolling does. Again, it's going to be one of those where you're going to hover over a cut. And what it's going to do is it's just going to shift this cut over. So when I click on it, it's going to move. If you look at the uh, program window there, it's going to move the edit, the out point of this clip back of the golfer and the end point of the bicyclist will change as well. And so um, I can just shift this over. The overall duration of my video doesn't change, but this clip now changes. All of a sudden, this stand up motions back and I've shortened this clip by the exact same amount. So if I add 15 frames to the end of this clip, then the mountain biking one is going to be 15 frames shorter. And so these two, uh, these two buttons, these two tools are meant to be used at cut points. Now let's look at the slip and then the slide. So what the slip tool does is it allows me to take a clip and it keeps the clip the same duration so if my clip is, let's say, six seconds long, then the clip is going to stay six seconds long. Or even if it's six seconds and ten frames, it'll stay six seconds and ten frames. And the slip tool will allow me to just move the video within that length ever so slightly. So let's say maybe I want it to start right there and end right there. The duration is not going to change. The clips around it are not going to change. All it's going to do is move the video within that space to where it starts and ends where I want it to. Finally, last one is called the slide tool. Let's take a look with this runner. What this slide tool is going to do is it's going to allow me to slide this clip back in time. And so as I move it back in time, again, the overall length of my video does not change. What it does is it adds a little bit to the top of this guy who is rappelling on this giant rock. And if I slide it this way, it's going to add a little bit to the end of the mountain biker there. Again, it's important to note that the overall length of my video is not changing. And that's nice as well. So if I say, you know what, I want to bring this a little bit later, shift that over then it's another tool that allows me to do that. So let's walk through them again and talk about what they do. Again, we have the ripple. Ripple is going to 
be the only one that's going to change the overall length of your video. We have the roll, which as I use it, will just change in and out points at the edit, not changing the duration at all. Ripple, remember that as I use it, if I shorten this clip, it shortens it, the whole video by the same amount. Then we have the slip, which is helpful. It just allows me to change in and out points within a set duration. And finally slide, which allows me to slide a clip around, adding or subtracting frames from the two clips around it. Again, not changing the duration. So those are tools. Some of them you may use really frequently. Some of them you may use less frequently, but they're there to help kind of make your editing more powerful, more effective, more time effective, and, and just overall better as a result.